It is a gradual process, taking hold not over weeks and months, but years, decades, and entire lives. The game engraves its way onto the body. It envelops itself around the soul, insistently, excruciatingly, completely. Hockey becomes them. The Southside Thunder have begun another arduous pursuit of their sports storied Junior Cup. They're in our heads, boys. The Thunder hockey's in our hearts. We gotta remember that. Their primary odyssey comes in 28 parts. Every one of them approached the same way. When we start focusing on things that we can't control, that's when we control the game, boys. Pretty simple, boys. That's hockey. The league's proximity means that paths frequently cross, which has long called to mind an axiom as old as hockey itself. The more you get to know your opponent, the less you come to like them. They are a group of men whose very existence is defined by a game. A peculiar reality that began as a choice and became irreversibly a compulsion. Skate! Skate! Get there! Get there! Over the past six months, your confrontations from around the league and with each other will become ongoing stories under a distinctive microscope. What's that fucking mundo, man? Fuck you, loser! Culminating in settings throughout the year that will invoke their first encounters with the game and the greatest ambitions they've harbored when playing it. In hockey, their spirits grow intimate with the pain and frustration. Even as their wills become ever more possessed by the ecstasy of victory. If you let it, that's just the start of what the game can do to you. This is 24-7 Southside Thunder, Journey Through the Jungle. In a 28 game season, played out over six months, your team becomes a tool essential for maintaining focus. Muscles are loosened, laces tightened, sticks meticulously honed and taped, bodies enveloped in plastic armor for another night of persistent battery on the ice. It is game number 20 of the 2011-2012 season for the Southside Thunder. The team has won 10 straight, and the opponents, the Southside Lightning, are in last place in the Southeast Division. A disparity hardly apparent in the final elements of the Thunder routine. Coach Cox is addressed to his players 10 minutes before they take the ice. That's hockey. Hey, didn't see you come in. I'm Peeves McGuire. Oh, what a year it was for the Southside Thunder. A lot of highlights, a lot of laughs, and a ton of memories. This is Peeves McGuire's Quabamo Hockey.
Huevo con huevo. A serious juke and then a high duck on. Oh, welcome to the Perkins Show, Calgary. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, what a monster. It's a double Cameron. Oh, that's Grand Larceny. He's the real deal. That's a strapping young lad. Goals are fun. Combo. Put a top shelf where Barham keeps the Jacob. That's some serious skill. Have fun, Cam. Thanks. Cameron McDonald. Robin Hood and his merry men are up to it again. Always fade out in a montage. If you fade out, it seems like more time has passed in a montage. Montage. In stores now. Check it out. Slow side thunder have entered enemy territory. Yeah, Edmonton, it's, uh, it's a definition of a road game. It's one of those places I tell my dad, Kevo, don't wear my jersey. It's pretty rough up there. Rather than survey the hostile surroundings, several teammates stay in for a few drinks. With injured captain and star forward Cameron McDonald leading the way. <laughs> we got one bad guy <laughs> that's on the team. Like, like that's you know, you got Paul on the team that just keeps screwing up. How do you make up for it? It's... I don't know if you can, because uh, you know, he's like I said, he's not that smart. If we had two bad guys on our team, we could just bad boy brass. snap the neck of Paul. <laughs> <laughs> what the Hunger Games begin? <laughs> Six oh eight, this is hotel security. Please open up the door. Okay, Mark, it's been a pleasure to see you back from that uh, shoulder injury, and go out there and have fun. Thanks very much. Back to you, James. You guys are the number one team, and I love you very, very much. Thanks, man. That means a lot.
an assistant. In Bonne Vista tonight, with the McKnight Mustangs in town, the Thunder are intent on snapping their two-game losing streak. As always, the players arrive to the northeast entrance of Frank McCool Recreation Center. Brett Moore, though, takes a different path than his teammates. A long and circuitous route designed specifically not to pass the visitor's locker room. For Moore, riding a 20-game goalless streak, game days are filled with a series of very specific routines, just like this one. There's probably a few that are borderline crazy, but uh, I guess we're all a little crazy in our own way. But uh, you're not going to have any trouble finding me for a game. It's the same thing every single game. Sticks are taped just so. There's a 5 p.m. dish of chicken with mustard and hot sauce, with particular brands of each. Then comes an open ice pass around, a hockey tradition a group of Thunder take part in. stretches, performed in a certain order. And then he puts on his lucky banana hammock, the same one he's been wearing for years. I am Thunder Nation, bitches! I am Thunder Nation. We are Thunder Nation! Uh, I am. This is my color. I am Thunder Nation. I am proud to be the Thunder Coach. I am proud to be a part of this tradition. And I'm proud to be part of this tradition. I am proud to be your captain. I am proud to be a fucking Thunder. I am Vancouver. I am Lake Christina Way. Okay. Hi, Lake Lynette Close. I am Lake Geneva Place. Bonavista Downs is my home. Thunder is my team. These are our colors. These are my colors. We are proud to be champions. I'm proud to wear the Thunder team. Southside Thunder is my team. Southside Thunder? It's my team. I'm proud to play for this franchise. This is my jersey. This is my team. This is my weed field. My weed field. Aren't so tough now, are you, Broadleaf? Woo! Ten years, and I'm still cheering for the Thunder! I'm Lead Yellow. We are the Southside Thunder. Never get caught telling a hockey player it's just a game. Never get caught trying to explain to him all the things in the world that matter so much more. His mind might well acknowledge the truth to your point, but his soul would be powerless to accept it, considering the immensity of what he gives to the sport and the immeasurability of all it offers in return. Nothing ever feels as perfect as a moment of flawlessness on the ice. No bond as strong as one that compels brothers to bleed for one another. 
Not many leaders are this first in the craft of motivation. Not many pursuits can evoke such visions of brilliance. This is why it hurts so much when skill falls short of what the will desires. This is why it's so unforgettable when absolute passion yields ultimate reward. And that's all still just the start of what the game can do. Stakes rise as their season continues from here. While you watch from a distance, remember what was validated up close. Hockey may in fact be just a game. It's also who they are.